For 70 years, we've seen the Pearl Izumi logo out on the open roads. Have you ever wondered how Pearl Izumi apparel withstands the test of time? Well, it's a story about Nicole, who rigorously tests all the materials. Men, who prototypes new innovative designs, then throws them to her friend Di. Lucas, who wears a lot of hats and helmets. And Zach, who arm wrestles Lucas and coordinates apparel testing with over 500 cyclists around the world. In short, this is a story about the Pearl Izumi Materials Lab. My name is Nicole Onubeni and I am a material developer here at Pearl Izumi. Uh, every fabric goes through a minimum of, I have to do some math, over 30 tests, guesstimation. Lucas is an ideal tester because he's a multi-sport athlete. Never forget leg day. We are testing dry time, seeing how quickly the water is absorbing into the fabric. Uh, and so it's pretty awesome to see that, hey, if I'm wearing this out in the wild on a normal day and I'm like biking to a brewery and I get kind of sweaty, but that by the time I get there, I will hopefully not feel super sweaty. So I'd be stoked to wear this. Lucas is willing to test our apparel during team building exercises. I trusted everybody there. We're all high performance athletes. Uh, my name is Zach Walls. I'm a product developer as well as managing the wear test program here at Pearl Zumi. Charlie is one of our most dedicated testers. He is a local, uh, he is a firefighter, but he also is a very serious mountain biker as well as yogi. He really is a firefighting, bike riding yogi. So he will spend hundreds of hours on the bike every month and he is one of the best uh, test, uh, test riders for us to get a lot of hours in a very short span of time in just about any type of uh, garment that we make. Welcome to our voicemail system. Please enter. You have two old messages. Good morning, Zach. It's Charlie. Hey, I'm getting back to you on the review on the launch jersey. Give you some feedback. I was able to wear it for, oh gosh, probably about 20 hours in the last three days. And the odor control on it was good because I wasn't able to wash it over the three days that I was wearing it. Um, so no issues there, or if there was, then I didn't notice and no one told me about anything. So, um, cause I did end up wearing it into one of my yoga classes. So it's very versatile in that regard. Um, Jersey pockets. It's a hot debate here about how to get strong Jersey pockets. Yeah, jersey pockets are important because when you stuff them with all of your snacks, all of your water bottles, um, you want to make sure they're not pulling away, especially when you stuck, stick your hands back there while you're in a ride, you're not paying attention. Or when someone comes up behind you and starts to like get an extra boost and pulls on them, you want to make sure they're not going to rip. So we're able to test to see how strong our adhesion points are um, for our jersey pockets. So we can pick the one that's the strongest. As a material developer, it's pretty cool that this seam can hold 26 pounds. That's cool, right? Maybe add in a few with vertical stripes, horizontal stripes, something like that, maybe some polka dots, that'd be kind of cool. So anyway, uh, hope that helps. Hope you're having a great week, had a good weekend. Let me know if I can help with anything else. I'll talk to you later, bye. It's probably about time to change my phone number. Um, through material testing, we're able to ensure the quality of all of our product and uphold our lifetime guarantee.